How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about Lucid Group. And the first thing that I'm going to mention to you guys and why I put these videos out for you. I told you the key area for Lucid to pass will be above $47.50. It got to $47.25 and then it failed at that area and pulled back. Again, pay attention to these opportunities. Have a strategy, have a game plan. This is why I say going into tomorrow, you know what? We'll talk about it further inside of this video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just wanna let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna go over is the technical analysis. We're gonna be taking a look at the overall price action. We wanna know support. We wanna know resistance. We wanna know what it looks like in a bearish case scenario and as well as in a bullish case scenario. And then we're going to go on Fintel taking a look at the short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to take a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know what is the buying and as well as the selling behavior like on the retail side and as well as for the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for Lucid. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up up closing at $43.88, being down 2.18%. On the low, it tested $43.02, and then on the high, testing $47.25. When we take a look at the volume stats on the day, you can see we traded at 57.224 million shares, and the average volume over 10 trading days being at 74.548 million shares. So we did have below average volume on the day, and Lucid has been witnessing seeing a lot of selling pressure and it's part of the reasons why it performed the way it did. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is a daily chart, we can see from the RSI down below, it is right around 48.76. And then when we take a look at the moving averages here on our chart, we have strength above the 200 day, the 100 day, the 50 day, but we are below the 21 day EMA. So as far as support is concerned, we ended up testing $43.02. We've seen this being an area of support in the past. So go Going into tomorrow, you'd want to see a continuation of $43 actually holding. If it does not do this, then you can look forward to seeing a pullback here to $42.37. And if that area does ever end up breaking, then we can look forward to seeing Lucid get down to $40.65. And like I said in the previous video, $40 is a key level. If it breaks, we've seen this happen back on December the 6th. We can start seeing levels here to $38. And then potentially with a further sell-off, we can get easily down here to the $36 range. That is the bearish case scenario. If you want to see Lucid start looking bullish again, it's going to have to come back to reclaim the 21 day EMA right here around $46.61. If we have price action above that, that's where we want to look forward to this key level here at $47.50. I've talked about this for quite some time already. If we had price action above $47.50, then that's when we can look forward to seeing that strong push so we can get back to the $49 area. That's why I wasn't surprised when we ended up seeing resistance at $47.25 on the day when it failed, I knew the stock was going to pull back. And I've been talking about this in previous videos. I know many of you have been paying attention and have been able to capitalize on these opportunities when it arises. So let's see how Lucid performs going into tomorrow. So we're going to take a look at the recent short interest information for Lucid. So for the dark pool short volume ratio, it's at 59 0.91% and then for the dark pool short volume being just over 31.44 million shares. Scrolling down further on the page, the short shares availability is at 300,000 updated 29 minutes ago and then for the short ball free rate it is at 1.43%. Now when we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio we could see for the close of December the 3rd it was at 60.91 and then for the close of December the 6th being at 59 
0.91. So what this tells us, yes, it did go down a little bit, but there's still a lot of short squeeze potential in Lucid. But one thing that we have to point out, there's gonna come with a lot of volatility. And knowing that there has been a lot of selling pressure, I just wanna make sure you have a strategy if you're gonna decide to trade this play. So now let's jump into the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for Lucid. So we could see here on the inflow is at 600 and then on the outflow it was 517 so we ended up having an inflow day when we take a look at the breakdown on the large it was 16.34 in the medium it was 303 and then on the small it was 280 keep in mind these numbers are in the millions when we take a look at the outflow side on the large it was 7.61 on the medium it was 293 and then on the small it was 217 taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days you can see for today december the 7th it was at 8.74 million now as we analyze the numbers even further for the small scale orders which tends to represent the retail side we had more buying than we had selling and then when we take a look at what happened on the medium we had more buying than we had selling and then when we take a look at the large which is what we just covered we had more buying than we had selling so this potentially could represent institutional and funds. Now, when we take a look at the turnover ratio, though, it was at 3.49%. So again, we know there's a lot of traders that are going in and out of this play. Let's be honest here. And this is why there's so much volatility in the price action. So this is why if you are an investor, or maybe if you're going to be taking a trade, you want to make sure you're doing it strategically. You just don't want to go inside of this play blindly. So now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my my final thoughts for Lucid Group, we've been dealing with a lot of volatility. We also do see the stock is witnessing a lot of selling pressure and it's part of the reasons why we see the pullback. Now, many people are going to be asking me questions. What does the price action look like to you as far as your predictions? So as far as what I want to see, Lucid has to have some price action above $47.50 and then essentially make that move to $49. That's what it would need to look like. If it ends up having a pullback or we have a continued sell-off, then I want to see some strength at that $40 level. If we don't get it, we could pull back to 38 and then essentially the selling pressure continuing, we can get down to $36. I mentioned that in my previous video, so add that to your homework and as well as your due diligence. And also when we went on Fintel, taking a look at the short interest information, it does continue to have short squeeze potential as well. So this is going to contribute to the overall volatility. And we also have to wait in regards to an update from the SEC about the probe. I covered that in the previous video as well. I'm hoping things turn out well. If things turn out well, then we could see a resurgence inside of the stock. If things turn out bad, then this stock will sell off. And for anyone who's been waiting patiently as an investor, an opportunity may present itself because I'm still going to stick by what I said. If you're looking at getting into Lucid for the long term, even at these current price levels, I feel it is just too high. The valuation does not make any sense to me whatsoever, and I'm going to continue to say that. I know there's a lot of hype, there's a lot of speculation, but we need to be realistic here. So that's why I want to keep it real, and I'm not going to just say, this stock is going to go to the moon, because at the end of the day, you're going to be using your hard-earned money inside of the stock market, and I just want to make sure if you're going to be going into a particular stock, you're going about it the right way, so you could actually stay in the market for a longer period of time and you don't become a bag holder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing how Lucid performs going into tomorrow. We'll talk soon.